Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, our data science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science with practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow and build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on status crash regarding April and May signups. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, or ML engineer roles. The question reads. You have been asked to get a list of all the signup IDs with transaction start dates in either April or May. Since a signup ID can be used for multiple transactions, only output the unique ID. Your output should contain a list of non duplicated signup IDs. So, we are given a data frame called transactions. Our expected output is basically a panda series with all the unique signup IDs. Okay, let's inquire about the transaction. So it has four different columns, transaction ID, signup ID, transaction start date and amount. And if we look at the data types, so transaction start date is a date time. Since we are dealing with date time, we have already covered in this series that whenever you are dealing with date time, it is better to import the date time library because it is very powerful in dealing with date times. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to perform a Boolean indexing. So basically what we need to do is we can extract the month from the transaction start date and it should be either April or May. That is the month should be either 4 or 5. So what we are going to do is from the transactions table or data frame, let's take the transaction start date and extract the month out of it so dot date time dot month and this should be in the list either four or five so four is april five is may so we write dot is in the list of months so four or five so this is going to give you a list of true and false values so let me go ahead and run this so here if you see you have true and false values now if you pass this with the original data frame so transactions it is going to contain only those rows where the boolean value was true so if i go ahead and run this now it is going to have only those rows where the transaction start date month is either april or may now once you have this then what you need to do is you need to take up the sign up id column so let's take up the sign up id column and remember the question says that we need the non-duplicated that is unique ids so you need to perform that dot unique okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so here you can get all the list of non-duplicated unique sign up ids for the april or may month so now once we have this let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases let me just open the output in a separate browser trap so here if you look at it everything is green and this is how you do it so not a very difficult question what we basically did was we firstly extracted the month from the transaction start date and equated it to four or five that is april or may and then what we did was we took up the sign up id and returned the unique values from that so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video